Yo, how are you doing guys? Tuko hapa Turismo Motors And today we want to look at the technology of the Street Fighter V4S Kwanza tukianza na with the exterior As you can see, it has a single sided swing arm But from next year, 2025, they are going to the double Thing I'm like the uh, normal bikes. Uh, one of the things you notice is the wings, of course. Things, these wings are to bring down force, especially Uksha Peter 200 and above. They bring down force. Uh, I saw a study saying that when you are doing 240. The wings bring about 30 kgs of downforce. In kama umekalisha, it's like a small baby umemkalisha hapo mbele. So the front are chazy. Uh, these are DRL, they are called day running lights. So they always stay on. Then you come to the controls. On this side we have the mode buttons, these are for, like, for selecting the menu and all those sorts of things. You have your hazard, your full light and low beam. Here you have your start button, this is your kill switch so you just press it upwards then press start inside. Here I was even surprised. It has heated grips. Yeah, so when you want to start, you just press this button. Oh, and this button is for engaging the launch control. So when you want to start, you press this button. And it comes to life. Let me just switch it off so that you can hear what I'm saying. So using this button now we can go to the menu to see what we have first the first things are the riding modes we have the race mode sport mode and street so let's say we go to the race mode we enter then we have the DAVC now the DAVC has all your ride controls like traction control let me just zoom in so that you can see nicely. So here you can choose whether you want the highest, which is like when you are in the wet. That, that is number eight. Then you can come down all the way to one. That is for track use. And if you are brave enough, you can even switch it off. Yeah, so that is the driver uh, Ducati traction control. Then, then we have the, what do you call it, not active, but I disabled them, so we can, <laughs> I'm going to put them back on. Then we come to the engine, as you can see, you can select full, this is the iced power mode, with the iced power mode, you get the full power and the throttle is instant then we can come to medium so the throttle response is smooth and also the but you are still have on you still have the full power then you come to the, the reduced like when you are in riding the rain wet conditions here you get a smooth throttle response and a reduced power i don't know by how much but I'm guessing by around 40 HP less compared to the full power. So we just put it in high and go back. Then you do all that even even when you come to sport mode, you the process is the same. The, you can select how much traction control you have, like in the rest mode, your driver will Ducati will control. So you can keep it at one. One basically means the wheelie. You can do small power wheelies. Then there is two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to eight. Eight, even if you give it a throttle's dream of ten akaje, it will not lift. Yeah, so, and if you want to do wheelies, come on, acid boy, you just put it to off. Then you are back. Then you have Ducati slide control. Slide control is to prevent eyesight. So we have safe, we have one, and you can put it off. You know, there are some guys who like sliding out of corners. Uh, those are the engine the same, ABS. Then when it comes to ABS, it has three modes and you can. But with the ABS, because of the regulations, apparently you can't put it off. Then we have engine brake control. Basically means how much engine brake you want. Do you want when you close the throttle? Yani ukiachilia mafuta ni kama umeshika brake. That is the maximum. And the minimum is... Yes, umeachilia brake, but there is no much engine brake. Now this depends. Unajua, unono kwa majuu, they have a lot of trucks. So if it is a smooth flowing track, you don't want a lot of engine brake because you want to carry a lot of speed. But if it is a stop and go circuit with a lot of stopping and going, you need a lot of engine brake to help you. Yeah, but for Kenya, I think two should be okay. Then we have Ducati quick shifter. This, this one has both up and down. So when you, let's say you, um, you start moving, you don't need the clutch until you go to stop again. Then there is the info mode. You want the info to be road or track. Then we have the dynamic suspension. As you can see, this means the suspension is dynamic. By dynamic it means when it is in dynamic mode, it, it, it in end exchange change. Maybe if you go to a bumpy road, the suspension will become soft. If you go to a, where the tarmac is, is smooth, the suspension will become stiff to give you feedback. Yeah, so that was the riding modes. Then this lap timer is when you are on the track. You take a lap times. Then we have the backlight. Like now, no, no, the screen is white. That is because it is on auto. That is the day. If you go to the night mode, the screen becomes black. But this is recommended for at night, so that the screen doesn't blind you. So we'll just go back to auto. And the date, the units. So you can choose whether you want kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Like. This is a good system because you know this bike can either go to America or to the rest of the world where you use the metric system. The temperature is the same, you can either choose degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then consumption, you can choose between kilometers per liter or how many liters you use for every 100 kilometers. And if you are living in the UK, you choose the miles per gar loan UK. If you're in the US, you choose the miles per gallon in the US. I think they have a slight difference between the what a gallon is in the US versus uh, what a gallon is in the UK. I think the gallon in the US is about 4 liters and the gallon in UK is about 3.7 liters. Yeah, so that's the difference. Then the service. The service tells you when you service how much yani, how long before you can service again so that is part of guardian then tire calibration this is very funny uh, what what this system is basically when you change the tires like now you see the tires are almost new so they are almost perfect what do you call it oval kama oval yani ko perfectly round but as you wear it it becomes uh, it becomes flatter flatter the middle because of the power so when you change the tire 
you have to you have to do that calibration so that the system knows as in the traction control and the ABSs know how to do those things these are the DRL DRL is the daytime running lights so you can either choose manual or auto I just leave them at auto turn indicators info yeah and that is it so that we are using this button so this button is for quick access on the to on the bottom right side of the screen so you can basically choose ABS if you want engine brake 1, 2, 3 yani system ya raka raka bila kuenda kwa menu ama nini yeah one another feature I find it interesting with this bike is like right now, if I put it on I don't know whether you can hear it but I don't know whether you can notice but when you are not moving or you are moving or the RPMs are I think below 4000 RPM it is only running on two cylinders remember this is a v4 it has four cylinders but it is only running on two cylinders to to make the bike more efficient because when you're in traffic honestly we are not using all the power so we are only using two it is a technology i've seen on most cars nowadays especially the big engine cars but this is the first time as i'm seeing it on a bike so when you are below 4000 rpm it is running on two cylinders when you go past 4000 rpm the, it runs now on 4 it becomes a v4 right now it is a v3 <laughs> I, I don't know whether you can hear the difference but when you go past 4000 you should hear a difference So those are some interesting facts about the Ducati V4. We'll be doing a review of it very soon. So keep it keep it locked. Other bikes for sale. The H2, the ZX10. We have this lovely red Yamaha R6 going for 1.4 million. A very good bike. So, yeah, Turismo Motors, Kilakitu bikes, cars, Kwe Garidogo, Kwe Garikubwa, Tukonazo Zote. See you!